Hello and welcome once again to the field. I am lucking out with this weather. It's now October, it's still sunny and uh, just pure chance because the last couple of days have been pretty miserable. But I'm out here with the coppers too because really any excuse to fly it again. Having mounted the uh, the GoPro session on it just to see how it how it copes, I'm expecting it to be good. I'm hoping it's going to be a really good camera platform and uh, doesn't feel any different. But let's fly it and see. <whistles> Well, off we go, and I was pausing at the start there because I just wanted you to hear the sound of those motors. They really are quite unique in how they sound. They give a very satisfying, purry smooth noise. I, uh, there's something that I love about this quad, and that's the way it sounds in the air. It's just fantastic. Anyway, so here we are, and we're flying the Coppers 2, and it's got my original GoPro session on it. So one thing about mounting the session on the Coppers 2, I mean, as I mentioned before in my review, it doesn't actually have the mount, uh, and that's pretty much because they've said, there's loads of mounts out there, get your own mount. But one thing you have is an awful lot of real estate. Because the both the FPV antenna comes out the back and the antennas for the XM Plus um, come forward from the arms, the entire top plate is free for you to attach what you want. So that's very versatile in terms of you can put your mount anywhere you want if you have a larger camera, if you have one of those flashy uh, Insta360 cameras, no doubt you can get it on there and it will fly quite nicely. This is just a, a raw battery from one of my flights I was doing. I was testing something else as well, so as per usual, it's like, I don't know what sort of battery this was, probably one that's a couple of years old and a bit soft. and. I put it for a bit of a torture test, but I think this is quite good as well because I'm after after I really strip the uh, the voltage and it sags, I do a bit of slow flying as well to see how that goes uh, and let the battery recover. And, and you can see that the Coppice 2 is really very controllable there. Now I know a lot of people were still freaking out about what is that material? Why have they cheaped out and put fiberglass in it? So I emailed. Uh, Hollybro because I wanted to know exactly what it was and why they decided to use that now <laughs> He told me that he's not trying to deliberately make things look mysterious But he's not actually allowed to tell me directly what the grey colored material is He could tell me that they spent a lot of money on it. Uh, it costs more than full carbon fiber But it's much lighter and still as strong as carbon fiber and that's why they decided to use it on the copies too frank and now the cynical lot out you will be just like ah oh, yeah, whatever he's just saying that but Take a good look um, at the components used in the frame. Take a look at the engineering used throughout the build. Um, they have not cheaped out in any way on this build. It, it would be highly unlikely uh, that they'd go with something cheaper just for the sake of saving what is effectively going to be like a few pence versus using something really good to make their frame better and you know i i, I fully believe they've they've gone with it because it, it's a better material for them it's stronger it's lighter um because everything about this quad is just beautifully put together i i do absolutely love it and if you're taking a look at the pictures on the screen right now hopefully you're thinking well this does pretty pretty good as a camera ship there's really nothing too much i can complain about um, once again the links to where you can find this product are down below take a look at my original review if you want to and I'll be back doing some more of this later because I wanted to see if I could tune it uh, change some of the settings just to get the max out of it it's I mean, still running D-Shot 600 in a, a, a lower loop time thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video bye for now Well, you've made it to the end of the video, so thanks once again for watching. If you like what you saw, then please consider subscribing. And if you really like what you saw, then be sure to check out the link to my blog for a variety of ways in which you can help support this channel.